<laughs> nah, for real. Like, you know, but like this is real story, real talk. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But like beyond that, like this is like, you know, everyday people that have the power to change our uh, communities. Like we don't even got to wait on a politician because we have the power. We can vote them in. We can recall them. We don't have to wait till next cycle to vote them out. We can pull, uh, pull out a recall petition like I did. I uh, initiated the recall petition to get Mayor Eric Johnson out of office after he flip-flopped on the on uh, on the Democrats. And I'm not a de Democrat either mm -hmm. or Republican. You understand me? I think we need our own thing. Yeah. However, um, like if you're going to switch on the people that put you in office, bro, you would do anything out here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you're not for the people, you know? So um, my effort, my recall petition was unsuccessful. However, um, you know, we needed like 100,000 votes uh, or signatures in 60 days, you know. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's not really likely if you're not finna, if, if, once again, if you don't have the fun finances behind you. But um, anyways, bro, like, you know, I, I do say that the finances is the obstacle and then the hurdle is these old people that continue to vote these same people mm -hmm. that's not doing anything, that's sucking the resources from our community, from the mm -hmm. South, excuse me, uh, sucking our resources from South Dallas or the Southern sector of Dallas and um, being yes man to the people in the North. You know what I'm saying? I mean, cause y'all get y'all 300, $500 million projects. Where's ours at? You know what I'm saying? We don't see it in Glendale. We don't see it in Redbird. You know, they, you know, they doing what they doing to the mall. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool and that's dandy, but like, you know, or Redbird Mall, Southwest Center Mall. You know, that's cool. But you know, it's like when you go to these city council meetings, bro, like you hear on Wednesdays in Dallas City Hall and 1500 Maria Street, you go and you listen to them, bro. They're talking about all this money mm -hmm. that is not going to us, bro. And the, when you hear these numbers, these dollar amounts, that should have blow your mind, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And these people, these re these city council people, um, these elected officials, they have the power and the influence to do great good in our communities. But, you know, these old niggas keep voting them in. Mm. And they see somebody like me in there and they want to, you know, look me up and down and, you know what I'm saying, question me and all of that, you know. But anyway, so I had mm. somebody actually walk up. I knocked on his door and he asked me, oh, you 26, man, what you know about life? I'm like, damn. Okay. <laughs> you feel me? I know enough to come to my elders and, and ask for counsel. You can't do that with these uh, jigaboo niggas because they going to the white man for counsel, not you. Goofy, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, you know. Yeah. Um, but those are the two <laughs> obstacles: is these niggas and um, the finances to uh, run a successful campaign and really uh, bring change in the southern sector.